Alright, so I wanted to make this video for you because there's a couple key points with that nutrition stuff I sent you that I really want to get across. So, um, number one, um, when you're doing this, you want to be uh, consistent at tracking variables, your weight. So, what I want you to do is I want you to weigh every single day, first thing in the morning when you get up, and then on Sundays, I want you to send me that weight and average it out. So, if you weighed seven days, right, you'll add up all seven and then divide by seven and send me that number on Sunday. If you forget a couple of days and you only weigh five days, that's fine. Just add up those five, divide by five, and then send me that average. Uh, the main reason we do that is not so much for the psychological part um, because therefore it could get in your head that way as far as weighing every day. Some people will say not to because psychological reasons, but we're not doing it for that. I just want you to weigh, put it in your notes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and don't even think about it. Because, But what we're doing that for is because if you just weigh every Monday or something like that, depending on what maybe you ate the day before, or how much water you drank, there's a ton of factors that go into it, the weight can fluctuate a little bit. So it may not be <coughs> a true reading, but we do know that your average is your average. So we wanna compare those averages each week. And since you wanna lose weight, body fat, we need to see that trending down as the weeks go on. So that's number one. Um, another thing that I really want to hit home and talk about is the fact that um, budgeting your calories. So what I mean by that is it's it's not so much you know hitting those macros on the head by the day as it is looking at it at a weekly time frame. So for example, if yours was um, let's just keep it for. Um, math purposes pretty simple um, I know you get to eat more than this but let's say that to, to lose weight you have to eat a thousand calories a day and you eat um, a thousand Monday through Friday right but then <coughs> on the weekend um, you eat a thousand five hundred or two thousand and then same thing on Sunday maybe you have something after church and you go out to eat again and you rack up more then your average for the week is not, we just said that it needs to be a thousand on average every day um, to equal, to for you to be in a deficit, let's say a thousand, three hundred calories or something like that, if that was your average, doesn't get the job done, that's a maintenance and you don't lose weight. So if that's the case, you know, and I see this all the time, like people eat great throughout the week and they're like, man, I did perfect, but then they go out to eat on the weekend, which, which is fine because you want them to be able to live that flexible lifestyle and you want them to be able to enjoy going out with friends. But at the same time, if you do that, again, just know that your average shoots up. So what I'm getting at, what I wanna talk about, and what usually works for people that I find uh, here lately really works in my experience is just having them do it to where, think of it like a bank account, think of it as a budget. So obviously you can't spend what you don't make. Well, you could with a credit card, right? So if you spend over what you have, then you have to work your butt off put in more hours or whatever and build that account back up. Um, and then <coughs> obviously make more though that you can spend. Um, so anyway, you have to counterbalance it, right? Otherwise you're gonna be in, you're in debt. So what you have to do is the same thing goes for when you're talking about nutrition. So again, let's use the thousand calorie thing. Let's say you go a thousand calories Monday through Thursday, okay? And on Friday, you're going out with your friends and you eat 2000 calories, okay? Well, then we know you're a thousand over. So the next day, <coughs> ideally, you'd have to fast, okay? Or you could eat 500 less um, on, if you did it on Friday, Saturday, and then 500 left on Sunday as well. 500 less on Sunday as well. That works too. But if you start to think of it that way, you can actually enjoy life a little bit and it's flexible and you can go out with friends. You just have to plan accordingly. Another thing that my wife likes to do is she likes to pre-plan. You can do it, I like to do it the opposite and then you know make up for it. But the way she does it is if she knows she has something, if we're going out to eat that night or whatever, um, she may eat less throughout the week, like 200 calories less all throughout the week if she knows we have like a big event planned. Or maybe that day, you know, she doesn't eat breakfast and lunch and that's gonna give her, let's say, let's keep on the thousand. The, so uh, that gives her a thousand calories for dinner to play with, you know. Um, so that way if she wants a margarita, if we go to a Mexican restaurant, she wants a margarita and some chips and hot sauce, she can have it. Um, there, there's tons of ways to set it up, but you have to understand that the macros that I gave you, um, those specific ones, we want to stay to those 
and make sure that that is our average for the weekly total. And that way um, you're tracking your variables good there as well that way. So if you don't lose any weight, I can adjust accordingly. But if it's all over the place then and you don't stay to it consistently, then me as a coach, because that's really what you're wanting and paying for is that check in and us adjust if something's not working right. Um, it, it, it gets hard for me because I don't know, you know exactly what you what you consumed or where we're at. So if you can do that for me, think of it as a bank account, super important there, um, and kind of the same way, budget it, then you'll be really well off and it'll work for you for sure. Um, so th those really are, are my three things that I wanted to really stress is um, making sure that you're weighing daily and sending me that on Sunday. Um, checking in every week the people that don't check in this works for everyone that checks in like um i'll have some people do it and they and the ones that don't see results is just they they quit checking in and then they kind of fall off but if you by you know me holding you accountable and checking in every sunday that just kind of make sure even if you don't get it check in and then i'll say hey why did we not get it and we kind of talk about it and then if you you know we're consistent and all the variables were there then we adjust to make sure that you get it and that way I can confidently say like, we're gonna get you there as long as you do exactly what I say. And sure, we might have to make some adjustments on the way maybe, but um, yeah, we'll dial you in so that you can see the results. And then number three is just treat it like a budget. If you can think like that um, and make sure that, you know, don't just say no to everything. Now, sometimes obviously if you are in a deficit and you are dieting, you're gonna have to say no to stuff. Sometimes it's just the way it is. You can't go out to eat every day, and stuff like that, or calories will just really add up. But if you can say no sometimes and then sometimes be flexible and then you know pay it back, then you'll be you'll it'll work perfect for you. So, yep, I'm excited for you to start it and ready to see your results.